of Vanessa's for smoothie recipes. But today we're going to show you how to make four healthy smoothies. So, let's get started. To make the smoothies today, we're going to be using Nutrible Balance. You guys are going to get an exclusive look at a brand new product that is just hitting the shelves this holiday season. This thing calculates macros in real time. How cool is that? It connects to an app, and in the app there are tons of smoothie recipes that you guys can use. So we're going to make one today, and three others that Adam and I have invented. So check out how cool this is. It connects through Bluetooth. So I'm just going to hit the connect button. Balance connected. Ooh. They give you the same macros that we give you guys. So the calories, protein, fat, carbs, sugar, and fiber, which is really helpful. They show you a little bit of a description about it, and then they give you the ingredients and the nutrition facts. Now the first step is place the balance cup on the base. Cup detected. <laughs> <laughs> so the first ingredient is 1.5 teaspoons of ginger root slices. So we're just gonna put some in there, and now we have enough. Next we have the mint, add in a handful. Now this is the MCT oil, and you only need about three teaspoons. Now as I pour in the MCT oil, it's calculating. Next it says lime juice. That's it. Ding. <laughs> Coconut water, one and a half cups. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Next is ice. Oh, oh that was made it. <laughs> Now it's gonna blend. Put on the lid. Cup removed. Oh. Ooh. Cup is removed. So smart. Go. Ah! <gasps> Look, no hands. Woohoo! Blending complete. Stopped by itself. Awesome. Look at that green goodness. All right, moment of truth. Ooh, smells nice. Smells minty, fresh. Oh, that is surprisingly delicious. The coconut water makes it kind of sweet. This kind of masks the taste of ginger, so it's actually super delicious. All right, guys, this next one we're gonna be calling the summer holiday. Ooh. That's right, it's very tropical. Watermelon, <laughs> coconut, etc., etc. So we're gonna create our own heating start. So now we're gonna enter the ingredient name. We're gonna start with some watermelon. Watermelon. So now it's recording for me how many grams there is, how many cups. So I don't think we even gotta measure it. I can just keep putting it in until it says a cup. Now we're gonna add kale. Get that stalk out of there. Bit of a rip, push that in there. Now grab some cucumber. Mmm. Boop. About 100 grams, good, very good. Now it's in some cashews. Soaking out that fat. And get some nuts Ooh, in there. Yeah. Pour over a cup. That's, that's good. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the coconut water. One cup. Boom. Got it. Easy as that, guys. Now you can see that that's 355 calories, 20 grams of fat, 40 carbs, 11 protein. Pretty good. Now we're gonna go blend. Blade is going on. And then here we go. Ding. Ooh, ding. <laughs> Good? Oh yeah. No, it's your favorite. So for the last couple of months, I've been having this juice every morning. It's super delicious and full of just raw veggies. And that is why Adam and I drink smoothies every day, because getting in raw fruits and vegetables is the best way to make sure that your body is getting all the vitamins and minerals that it needs. So here we've got about a half of a green apple. One clove of raw garlic, about a handful of broccoli, which is about a half a cup, handful of blueberries, about a quarter of a cup, about a handful or a cup of spinach. Pack it in there, get it in there, yes. Some lemon juice. You could use lime if you'd like, I switch it up every day. If you don't have coconut water, you can definitely just use regular water, but the coconut water gives it a nice flavor. And we're not gonna use too much, we're actually just gonna use about a half of a cup. And time to blend. Oh yeah. So it's not the most appealing smoothie, but it's full of antioxidants and it's so good. And healthy food doesn't have to look pretty all the time, guys. That's right. <laughs> Did I just get that on me? I'm gonna cry if I got that on my shirt. Uh, what's that? 
So right there. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. After I spilled some on my shirt, I just remembered I forgot the ice. So we're gonna add some ice now. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna add in some ice. You tried to add in ice and Dura's too, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh yeah. So good, guys. Now on to Adam's dessert smoothie. Okay guys, so now we're gonna make my favorite one, which is the choc salted caramel. I invented this one for my sweet tooth because when it comes to desserts, I skip on the cakes and the biscuits and I go straight for the milkshakes. So this one is all natural and all the sweetness comes from the dates and there's lots of good omega-3s in there from the flaxseed. When it comes to smoothies, it doesn't matter if you wanna make green ones or red ones or pink ones, it's all good. As long as it fits your macros and the ingredients are all natural and unprocessed, you can make whatever smoothie you want. Okay, so the first thing we're adding in is the ice. So if you add more than you need to, it's gonna give you a little red bar. That's okay, a little bit of ice is okay. Yep. Almond milk. Black seed oil, two tablespoons. Black seed, my favorite. Omega threes. If you're adding in the flaxseed oil and you're like, hey, I didn't meet my macro goal for fat today, you can actually add in some more of the flaxseed oil so that the fat will go up. Or you can go the other way. If you're like, oh, I've actually had too much fat today, you can go the other way and just not add as much. So it seriously calculates macros in real time, which as you can tell is very helpful. Some dates. Walnuts. Walnuts, about 50 grams. Two tablespoons of cacao, which gives it that chocolatey flavor. Chocolatey goodness. Beautiful. It's ready to blend. Nom, 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 nom. I know it's good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of salt. Salt makes it. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little bit of swirl. Yep. And you're good to go. Mmm. That's the stuff. So now I got my cup and I was gonna place it on. Now instead of just track, you're gonna track a portion. And as you can see, the calories are going up as he's pouring. So if you want to make half, whoa, 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 whoa. Half is going to be 450 calories. There you go, perfect. So that is exactly half of the portion. Easy as that, guys. So guys, all these recipes will last in the fridge at least two days, and all you have to do in the morning is shake it really well, and then you're ready to go. Even before Adam and I met, he was using Nutribullet in Australia, and I was using Nutribullet here in America to make our smoothies every day. So we were super excited that we got to partner with Nutribullet on this video. And we're even more excited that we got to share with you this awesome new product and we hope that you guys can see why this product is super aligned with the Fit Couple Cooks mission. So we hope that you guys grab some up for your holiday gift giving this season. Easy Zach guys! Let us know below in the comments section which smoothie you're going to try out. Don't forget to make these, post a picture on Instagram, hashtag Fit Couple Cooks and tag us at Fit Couple Cooks. See you next week. Bye, Bye guys! Namaste.